Okay, we'll get started here, you guys. Everybody says they can hear, and um, hopefully, uh, yeah, oh yeah, lots of people saying they can hear. So let's uh, get started. I'll, I'll uh, get this this slideshow up on your um, respective terminals here. My name is Carl Tupre. I'm the National Sales Manager here at Anajet. We're going to talk about the Empower today and uh, some other aspects of Anajet. If you are having trouble seeing any of the slideshow at any time, please give it a moment to load. And I will try and take my time going from slide to slide to give everybody enough time. Otherwise, let me know in the chat box and I can make sure that we don't have any communication errors. But let's move on. Just overview of what we're going to talk about today. Direct to garment, the industry and the market, marketing your business, and then our new machine, the Empower, which I'm sure everybody's anxious to see and talk about a little bit. Um, some of the advantages of the Empower and the technology, and just some economics and some stories. And then we'll have a question and answer session. So as time goes on, if you keep an idea of the questions that you have, I will keep an eye on that chat box. So you can ask them there. But there is a dedicated session for that toward the end. But go ahead and feel free to ask questions as things go. Overall, to start, the industry, garment decoration in the U.S. is a $44 billion industry. Printing is a $23 billion industry. So in, and this is as uh, 2007, the garment printing industry was 99% screen printing and 1% digital direct. So that's the, of the $23 billion. The various other methods make up the, the balance. Worldwide, as far as market share for direct-to-garment printing and digital direct-to-garment, you can see here that the market is fragmented with a few different manufacturers. Now this is worldwide, it's a little different for nationwide, which we're going to look at the next slide. But this information comes from IT Strategies, which is a third-party independent research firm dedicated to the, the garment printing market. North American market share, as you can see again, and this is based on units, I don't think revenue, but based on number of printers sold in North America, you can see in 2010 the market shares and the way they, they divide up between the, all of the other manufacturers. I'm going to get to the point here in a minute as to why Anajet has such a large market share. Garment decoration is a digital revolution, very similar to, I don't know, the horse and buggy and the automobile or the typewriter and the computer. Everything is going in the digital direction, and we can see it in many different industries, and it's now happening with garment decoration. And Anajet has done our best to be a pioneer in this industry. And I believe that's why we have such a large market share. As you all probably very well know, today, in today's market, people want personalization. They like that customization. Customers demand a greater variety in colors and designs just because of what's popular today. Run sizes are always decreasing. Nobody wants to hold inventory when it's a little bit tight out there. They'd rather print to order. And then, of course, they want it right now. We always see that. <clears throat> and then, obviously, you know, with the kind of the market shift, what do you do? How do you get these, you know, variety in colors and these customized orders and this, the faster turnaround and their, the smaller runs? And the answer to that is, is uh, go digital, which is why we've seen such a shift in the digital market lately. That brings us to Empower. Empower is a leapfrog technology. What we mean by that is we didn't just slightly improve our past models like the Sprint. This isn't something that is comparable to anything else on the market today. We spent millions of dollars and many years developing this machine, this Empower machine, from the ground floor specifically for textile printing, and we didn't want it to be one of these other machines that people walk by at a trade show and go, oh, I'll just wait for the technology to arrive, or I'll wait until it's really there before I buy my machine. We wanted this to be the answer, and we believe that it is. This Empower is in a remarkable machine. We're going to talk more about it throughout later slides. I'm going to have a, a, a demonstration, but it really is the next level technology. Some of the keys to successful evolution is being purpose-built. This is not a modified machine in any way, shape, or form. This is not taking parts from any existing printer and using them. This is completely 100% built for the purpose of textile printing using industrial print heads and as a result today has the lowest maintenance of any machine in the market and is by far the fastest. 
that coupled with Anajet's manufacturer support, the lifetime tech support you get with Anajet, the training, the unlimited software upgrades, the shoot, the applications department that we have that by itself is um, about the size of most of our competitors' entire entities. It, it makes for a nice formula for success for our customers. That brings us to the Empower. As I mentioned, it is the fastest director garment printer. You get a very rapid return on investment. The support and training are amazing. You know, free lifetime tech support. You don't have to push one for English and two for Spanish, <laughs> although you can if you want to. They will just answer you when you call. There are endless possibilities. There's all kinds of things that you can print on. Right now, the easiest way to look at it is anything flat, although we will be introducing hat flatten very soon. You can print on metal, wood, glass, plastic, ceramic, of course, cotton and cotton poly blends, polyester, and of course, it's made here in the U.S. and supported here in the U.S. Anajet creates a lot of jobs for our economy, so you got to have a little love for us for doing that. I sure do. But here are some of the advantages. The Empower is unique in that we have, unlike the closed-loop ink delivery system in the Sprint, this is now a closed-loop circulating ink delivery system. It's a patented system that has a bi-directional ink flow. So unlike many other machines, and if you guys can all picture, I wish I had a video on these so you could see my gestures, but if you can think of any inkjet technology, there is an ink source, so like a cartridge or a bag or something, and then the ink flows through the lines and then out the print head. And when the ink is moving, it's always going out the head, and whether that means it goes out on your garment or out into a waste ink container, it's one direction. The Anajet has been, we have built this patented circulating system with bi-directional flow. So essentially what happens is you've got your ink source and it feeds this circulating loop or this, this big circle of ink lines. And it runs through the dampers in the print heads, but not out the print head. So this machine will effectively prevent white ink from settling because it's constantly moving and there's no air contamination because this constant moving provides a nice vacuum to eliminate air bubbles. So, you, so as you know, you know, especially with white ink, you don't get it uh, settling and drying. And what's also nice about it, as it does circulation, it's not pouring out the print head. So unlike many other machines where they're running cleanings and and circulations, it's just constantly dripping out of the print head or spraying out of the print head into a waste ink container. This one just cycles all the way through. And what it does is, as it cycles, it will do the smallest little spray of the nozzles to make sure that they stay moist. And that spray, we've determined, is less than one penny of ink usage per hour. And when you do the math on that, it, I, I want to say it's like less than $40 a year in ink. So it's much more efficient and it eliminates most of all cloggings and if the industrial print head doesn't eliminate them completely, it's it's an amazing, amazing machine. So better ink flow results in of course less head cleaning and as I mentioned greater ink economy. So as you can imagine, because there's not as much ink going out into the waste ink container, you're not wasting as much. The machine requires less maintenance and unlike our past machines, the maintenance is extremely easy. When you open up the hood, the white blade is right there. It can come right out and clean it, or you can clean it. It's very accessible, and the rest of the machine is maintained automatically. You get a much higher productivity and obviously lower usage cost because of the lack of waste and the lack of cleaning necessary. You also have a full control of your ink flow volume. So very much like our past products, this one allows for full saturation in a single pass which if anybody has seen it at trade shows, you can attest to the fact that this thing prints so fast, every time the print head comes by, the shirt moves. So it allows for that table to effectively spit the shirt out much faster because of the ink that's laying down, there's more of it. So the Empire, uh, we have textile inks. It'll print on 100% cotton, cotton blends, um, specialty paper, textile, non-textile materials. You've got your CMYK, standard plus white prints on any color garment. It's obviously environmentally friendly. They're water-based inks. 
So you can market your business as eco-friendly, which is another big important factor today for a lot of people. In addition to that, I do want to mention that's not load, uh, mentioned on here is that these inks are more viscous. So you actually don't need as much ink when printing to get the same vibrancy. As a result, you're not using as much when you're printing. In addition to that, they cost less by volume. So not only are your inks less expensive to purchase and you're using less to print, but you're also wasting less. So your cost of ownership on this machine is incredibly low when compared to other equipment. System maintenance, dramatically less than any other direct grammar printer. Again, it goes back to that circulating ink and we have a much more durable print engine and, of course, print heads. The print heads that we use are stainless steel heads. They're much more robust, unlike other heads that can receive no contact without destroying the net novels. These actually can have contact with you know, certain types of cloths and materials as well as a little bit more robust wiper blade. And then, of course, you've got your operating conditions. You want to try and Ask yourself if you're comfortable, your machine's comfortable, temperature between 60 and 95 and humidity 45 and 80. Again, humidity goes back to the fact that it's a water-based pigment and ink. So the more humid it is, oftentimes the better flow you get. And so if you're ever looking at your environmental, you can always look at humidity as probably the most important. And there are ways, if you live in a dry climate like Utah, we have many customers that use what essentially looks like a barbecue cover and a non-condensing humidifier. You can get all the details of that by calling our tech support. If you have an existing machine today and you feel like you have low humidity, you can get all set up by calling our tech support at 877-646-0999 and they will set you up with the right equipment. But not usually required. In most cases, we find that as far as where we sell the most of our machines, relative humidity is, is typically within 45 to 80% naturally. Okay, making the perfect antijet shirt as far as post treatment is concerned, you can use, you know, heat press, an oven, air dryer. Just keep in mind that what you want is for white shirts to be heated to 356 degrees for five seconds. That doesn't mean ramped up to 356 and then down off the end of a tunnel dryer for 35 seconds. That means it needs to be that hot for that long. So on a tunnel dryer, you typically increase your time. Same thing for dark shirts, 90 seconds at 3.30. So nothing's changed there from other machines or our old machines. As far as making the, the, the shirt last, the curing method is extremely important. If you cure it properly, you will get 60 to 80 washes. And I've found that some get even longer. Those that wash their shirts inside out and wash it in cold and all that get it even longer. But if you look at most shirts after 60 to 80 washes, you start losing the collars, you start losing the armpits and the holes. and So it's, it's typically life of the garment. And you get excellent sunlight resistance. It's very comparable to screen printed shirts. And when you pre-treat a garment, especially for a dark, and those are the only ones you pre-treat, but the pre-treatment is also key for longevity. And doing that properly and consistently will make a big difference. And then of course follow wash instructions if you want it to last longer than 60 80. Print speed, the M power is an extremely fast machine. White shirts, there's two versions, let's start there. There's the Empower 10 with six print heads. That's a dedicated print head for each color and then two for whites. And then there's the Empower 5 with three print heads. So each print head shares two channels, so one or two colors in each head, and then the final head has two white channels. As a result, white shirts on the MP10 print in about 15 to 20 seconds, and on the 5, it's about double the time, 30 to 40 seconds. And as you can see, black shirts take about a minute, um, depending on the settings. You can actually make it go faster, believe it or not, or a minute and 30 for the MP5. Per day, you can get 500 to 1,000 a day. The reason we have that little disclaimer <laughs> is that, uh, you know, if you're drinking your coffee and you're taking your time and loading, you, will, you won't get as many. The bottleneck really does become the operator when you look at an MP10. MP5 is a little bit easier to say 250 to 500 a day because there is time for loading there when the machine is printing. But the MP10 is so fast that to really get maximum production, you need to be on it, and you could stay very busy doing that. As a result, per month, you can get 10 to 20,000 or 5 to 10, and then obviously per year, you can do math. Here's the demo video. 
Okay, so I'm going to let this load for a moment. I'm sure this uh, streaming video, you know, we need to we need to make we need to give everybody a little bit of time so you can actually watch this. So I'm going to delay. Pardon my incessant battling. <laughs> Here it goes. Looks like it's starting automatically. Enjoy. Okay. Sixteen seconds from the time you push the button. For a twelve by ten graphic. Sixteen seconds. And power ten. So hopefully that video is finishing up for everybody now. It's not very long, and it's because the uh, machine does the work so quickly. But you saw that. It, it, that was actually one of our very first machines that came off the production line um, back in the, uh, the warehouse, the factory where I'm actually standing today. The machine is so fast, as you can see, that the bottleneck is the operator. So you can imagine, I mean, you just saw that, that print. It will do that print faster than you can load. So that kind of goes back to the, the uh, capability for the machine. You know, if you, if you have that type of graphic 10 by 12 and you were knocking them out and they were white shirts like that, you'd very likely have an extra heat press to get the, the maximum production and maybe two people. But a single person would still be able to get the job done so much quicker. And my point is here is I guess I really want to illustrate the fact that the faster you get a job done, the less headache there is the faster you can get out and remarket your business and you can get more business in. I've actually had people say, well, I don't need to you know, move that fast. And that may be the case. You may, don't, you may not need that speed, but I will tell you this, it is nice to have. I personally own a machine, one of our older models, and I have been in that position where I have you know, five, 600 shirts to do, or rather prints to do, front and back on 300 shirts. And if I had that speed, it would have you know, giving me a, a lot lower blo blood pressure. <laughs> so it is nice to have that additional speed, and it does allow you to get a lot more done a lot quicker. So let's move on here. What can you do? Well, like with our fast machines and, and uh, you know, anything Anajet does, we try and do it the best. We have an applications department trying to come up with new ways to use the equipment. You can print on light shirts, dark shirts, uh, socks and pillowcases, towels, golf shirts, baby items, mouse pads, bags, aprons. The extended media applications are incredible, you know, from glass, wood, metal. There's so many different things that you can print on. And we'll talk about how you do that, I'm sure, in the q and I'm noticing some questions coming up. But essentially, we have an extended media package that allows you to coat any item with an inkjet receptive coating, print on it, and then cure it with a spray. So it's a slightly different process, but the same printer and equal speed. I do notice just briefly that somebody asked about caps. We do have a solution for caps. It's a different platen. It's in process. We have some prototypes. We should be able to print on caps very, very soon, and it will just be a jig that goes into your table. So the answer to that is yes, and we are aware that because they're not flat, you do need this special jig. So we should have that extremely soon. Business case, so cost of ownership. Typical lease payment, depending on lease rates, and everybody I'm sure has looked into this. Today's economy, the leases, they like to make a little bit of money on you. But your payment can be as much as $650 a month. Your cost of a printed white shirt, so that's the cost of the shirt plus the ink and labor, about $245. Average selling price, let's say $15 if you're going to retail. Gross profit is $11 a shirt, so in 2,000 shirts you can pay for it. Pro production capacity is about 100000 to 200000 per year for an MP10. So you can see the amount of money you can make is very, very good. Just a couple of success stories. This one's actually from one of the lease companies we work with. The guy's name is John. He's over at Susquehanna. He has incredible rates if anybody wants to look into that. He has uh, written a letter. He actually wrote it to our, our uh, founder and mentioned that hundreds of Anajet leases are on the books. And despite the tough economic times and considering the portfolio has aged for over two years, it's truly remarkable to have all customers paying and paying on time. He goes on to say that we believe Anajet has a lot to do with our successful portfolio. There's a direct correlation between the quality of your printer and the quality of our portfolio. And basically what that means and the reason we put that in there is that 
it was nice to hear that after a couple of years of working with one lease company and hundreds of leases on the books with him, we didn't have any defaults. And what that showed us and what we you know, got from that was despite the tough economic times, despite people maybe walking away from their homes or their businesses or anything, we actually had zero defaults in the course of two years and hundreds of leases, which tells us people are making money with their equipment. And I believe that it goes back to Anajet as a company. We have one goal. We make direct to garment printers. We want them to be the best. So we have a significant amount of support here at Anajet so that we can help you be successful. We will take your call and help you walk through you know, graphics and, and marketing and all kinds of things so that you can be successful, ultimately so that we can sell you more ink. <laughs> but it's a win-win because when you are selling more and buying more ink, we're both happy. You're making money. We're making money. And it goes to show you, like what John's illustrating here, is that in long, over the course of time, you know, you're going to be in business and you're going to be making money. A couple other success stories. This one comes from Scott. You have, without a doubt, the best customer service staff in the world. And again, that's what we like to hear. That's our goal. We're constantly adding people, new phone systems, all kinds of things. I've traveled all over the world, he says. I've never seen better service and help anywhere. Uh, no one comes close. I simply cannot say enough to explain how happy I am. We need to get Scott over here for our marketing. It's pretty awesome. <laughs> Additional, here you see Rick Bryce, uh, Signs Now Missoula. He says that uh, they added the Anajet uh, at their Signs Now location nine months ago. In the first 90 days, their new business paid for the machine totally. So the new business they got from the machine paid for the machine in 90 days. Their first job was 400 shirts. Did it less than a week. Customers were willing to pay 18 to 20 bucks for full color, so it depends on the market. Personalized T-shirts, though, you can't expect to get that just about anywhere. And their cost was less than $2 a shirt and up to $2 for printing. You can see the model that Rick has there. It was pretty good. But that brings me to an alliance that we currently have with Inksoft. Rick, obviously, at a Signs Now location, is very much a retail store. And so you might ask yourself, well, you know, I do wholesale work. I don't do a whole lot of retail work. And we understand that. If you do wholesale work, you very well might charge less for your finished product. As a result, pay your machine off a little slower than 90 days. <clears throat> so what we did was we went out and we aligned ourselves with a company called Inksoft. Inksoft is an online t-shirt designer and e-commerce engine. So essentially what it is, is a program where you can allow your business to be in the largest mall in the world, which basically means the internet. <laughs> you can put your business, a store for your business on the internet and pick up all kinds of wholesale and retail work. But it allows you to be the person who lives in the center of the country in the smallest town to get your business and your, your market to the entire U.S. And I can't tell you how many times I've heard, I just don't know if I have the market for direct-to-garment printing. Everybody has the market for direct-to-garment printing. If you have the Internet, you can sell shirts. You know, think about things like Facebook, the way they bring people together, just yellow page ads, Internet stores. And that's why, we, again, coming back to Inksoft, that's why we've put this together. We are currently offering... Inksoft with every purchase. It's a $1,500 value. It sets up the site, gets you three months of, of monthly payments paid, and it allows you to offer your customers the ability to go to your website, design a t-shirt, upload their own graphics, or load one of the graphics that comes with it, and basically create what they want to see printed on a shirt and pay you so that you get the file. You can print it directly on your Empower and ship it off to them, and you've already been paid through the e-commerce store. It's a really neat program, and we've already seen a significant amount of success. Anyway, now that I've talked through all the bullet points, <laughs> you can outsource the Inksoft Alliance program. You can outsource orders to other subscribers. So if you have a big job that you can't handle and the time frame is very short, you can actually have other Inksoft users, hopefully Anajet customers, that will help you finish jobs you can allow your customers to create their own little mini sub-site so that, let's say, just as a business idea, if you have your pen out, you might want to write this one down. You get your, you get your Empower, you get Inksoft. You create a sub-site for the kiosk in the mall, and you set him up with a computer so that when somebody's walking down the mall and the kiosk is there and they, they you know, holiday season, they're going to Christmas shopping, 
you put a couple signs up that say that they can do customized T-shirts. Maybe you even print a customized T-shirt of a picture of a family in front of a fireplace next to a Christmas tree. And you offer that kiosk the ability to have people upload family photos to have printed on T-shirts for the Christmas pictures and whatnot on these T-shirts. And this guy, this kiosk, can actually go on to his sub-site that's attached to your site, create the entire thing with the customer right there, have the customer pay, and it will automatically come to your site for printing, and you will get paid. And they will take their piece. So you can set that up. You can set up all these little sub-stores in any mall that you want or any store that's in your neighborhood or uh, community. Anyway, uh, we will get you more details on that if anybody needs it. Anajet.com backslash empower contact business in a box. We'll go through how this kind of all works, and we have some demo videos for you because it's kind of difficult to explain without uh, visuals. Bottom line, and I do notice, by the way, everybody, I do notice there are some questions. I'm going to get to all of those, I promise. But uh, bottom line is the Anaja Empower has, you know, the best product. We're looking at uh, closed-loop ink recirculation system, a large, much larger printer, printable area, 8 gigabytes of memory on the control panel. So what we didn't show you in the demo video was actually there's no computer necessarily attached to it. You can still attach your computer and rip the files to the machine, or you can take all of your ripped images and put them on a hard drive and plug it into the machine and access all of your images from even a terabyte hard drive that you plug into the machine. Or you can save the images that you most commonly do in the control panel so that all you have to do is push a button that says Jobs, select the one that you want to do, how many copies, and just print it. It is so much easier to use and so user-friendly. It's actually cut our training time in half. We used to do trainings for an entire day on the sprint. We did our first trainings on the Empower. It took half day, and we had all this extra time, so we decided, why don't we bring in some lunch and let everybody just print the rest of the day? So it's, it's just been a lot of fun to sell and see people use. Real-time visual adjustments in the RIP. The RIP is just outrageous. It's so neat. It allows you to actually make adjustments to saturation and colors so that you can see the projected image on the RIP before you print it. So no longer do you have to make an adjustment, print the shirt, see if you like it, go back to an adjustment, print a shirt, see if you like it, and do six or seven prints just to get one good shirt. You can now make all of the adjustments in the RIP. What you see is what you get. It will give you a full visual um, simulation of what you can expect, and it is so right on that we are wasting you, you will be wasting a lot less time and shirts in setting up the artwork. It's incredible. It's obviously uh, networkable. It's the fastest garment printer in the market. It requires the least, least amount of maintenance in the industry. Some of the things that Anajet brings to the table, you get the free lifetime tech support and training, lifetime software upgrades. You get, of course, uh, you know, it's water-based, so it's eco-friendly. And then, of course, InkSoft. And it's made here in the U.S. The email about the pretreatment video if you'd like to email me requesting that, again, my email is kt at anajet.com. I'm going to go to the next page so you can see my contact info. Again, I'm the national sales manager. I can be uh, reached at that number, but oftentimes I'm out of my office, so the best way to reach me is email. And again, it's kt, my initials, at anajet.com. You know, it looks like that's about it, guys.